All right, what's up, folks? It is the AM Icebreaker with Coach Seth for Thursday, March 8th. And you guys know the drill by now. If you are going to the Game Developers Conference in, whoa, a little bit over a week now, leave me a request if you'd like a movement screen. And otherwise, leave me a question for this weekend. Like I said, we're going to be talking about time management, goal setting, knowing and walking the path, and kind of everything that that entails. Well, maybe not everything, but at least as much as I know and I feel capable of talking about yeah, it's really weird. I wonder what I'm going to say when GDC is over. I guess we'll, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll talk about what seminars I'm going to next. I, need, I do really need to start pimping the Viking Ninja stuff, I suppose. So for you guys, let's do that real quick. Uh, March 24th, we'll be in Toronto. If you're not following Viking Ninja training on Instagram, you should be because that's where all the information is going to be. April 21st, we will be out in... Out in New York, uh, we'll be doing a bodyweight prep. April 28th, we'll be in a couple places. We'll be in, I think, in, in Jersey for another steel mace prep. We'll also be in, ooh, what's the other April 28th date? I'll look it up. I'll and I'll link you guys to, to the schedule as I know it. Uh, I, I think Chicago? I don't know. I got to look. I suck. Um, and then May, May 19th. May 19th and 20th, we'll be out in Miami, and that one's going to be a lot of fun. That's going to be... Um, Viking striking, that's going to be steel mace, body weight. It's going to be a, another kind of one of the integrated camps we've done. So like we've done where, we, you know, where we've done body weight, steel mace, and nunchucks. This time it's going to be body weight, steel mace, and striking. I think this will be the first, one of the first times we're actually rolling out the striking course to a, a big audience. So Coach Jimmy's going to be up front there showing you guys how that works. And uh, that should be a good time. So hope to see some of you guys out there. And then June, two dates in June. June 9th will be at Innovative Results down in Costa Mesa. Innovative Results, what's up? And uh, we'll also be, I think we're still planning on Boise for the 16th. We're waiting to hear back from, from our sponsor there. And um, yeah, and speaking of sponsors, actually, I want to shout out uh, KSP Tabs and Lululemon for, for believing in Viking Ninja Training and helping us get going. Uh, lastly, I have a potential collab coming up with the Steel Mace Warrior, Victoria. I'll, I'll toss up a link to all her stuff. She just released episode one of her podcast with uh, the Barbarian, so... Uh, check that out. Uh, it's good stuff. And like I said, I'll probably be on her podcast. I think I'm going to try and have her on my live Q&A. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. And um, so let's get to it. Uh, today, uh, you know, I had a bunch of things I wanted to talk about, but um, I was in class last night and coach, the coach started to kind of gave us a, a, an interesting speech. And he he started saying something and I thought he was going to go in one direction and he went a completely different direction. Um, but I actually want to talk about the direction I thought he was going to go in, and that's the idea of why you should show up in class. I forget exactly what he said, but he said, you know, he started talking about it, and what I thought he was going to say was something to the effect of you should show up to class, especially something like jujitsu or, I mean, anything where, anything that demands trust from your training partners you know, you, you really need to be part of that of that training community. You know, you need to be around, if nothing else, just so people know who you are. You know, just so people, like, are comfortable with the idea that you're going to be around. You know, I mean, and, and it sucks because, you, know, you know, I feel like kind of a dick because I've been that guy. I've been the guy who's just, you know, who signs up for class, shows up once or twice, has some, you know, gets some good, good training and then disappears for, like, a year. I mean, I, I feel really bad because actually at, at uh, you know, Hands of Gracie, Seattle, that's kind of what happened. You know, I started back when, um, I, you know, I started when I first moved back to Seattle almost two years ago. And then I, yeah, I stopped training for almost a year, I think, before I went back. You know, I was, <clears throat> I mean, I would go to like some open mats and like seminars and, you know, get together with friends and train. But I, I definitely wasn't a good teammate. So, and, but I, I mean... Good and bad, I mean, talking about Henzo Gracie specifically, I mean, it's kind of nice because when I went back a little while ago, there were a whole bunch of new people. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. You know, it's a, an opportunity to start over. And so that's that's definitely, um, you know, I, I talk a lot about the value of community and connection. And I there are definitely times when I'm not the best about it. And I, I need to, you know, I need, I need to get back to, like, walking my own walk, right? Walking my own talk, I guess. And... Um, I think, and, and you know, and everybody does. So it's like, you know, there's, there's a great video that Tom DeBlas posted a little while ago um, about, you know, why you should come back to jujitsu that sort of speaks to this too that I'll post up. I don't want to spoil it because it's a great video and I hope you guys all watch it. But um, yeah, be, be, you know, be, be, be part of your team, be part of your community. And, and that means, you know, if, if you guys have a Facebook group, be active in the Facebook group, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm not saying you have to like, you got to like 
you know, spam the group with memes every day, but you know, if somebody posts something, you know, post a reply, post up a, a thought, you know, if, if you're, you know, post up your, tra your training, your training, your training and tournament vids, you know, just, just be, be, be part of the team. Let, let people get comfortable with you. Cause that's gonna, all that's gonna do is make everybody's training better. And, you know, I mean, you know, if a coach dropped the, the iron sharpens iron. Well, that's part of it. I mean, just, just being there is part of it, being there and being a good person and, you know, learning your teammates, letting your teammates learn you. So, yeah. That's uh, definitely a, a piece that I'm going to start working on. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to do it. Um, like I said, I, I love, you know, I train at, uh, like I said, Hanzo Gracie at Guardian Seattle. I'll toss up a link to them. And if you're in the Seattle area or if you're coming to Seattle and looking for a place to train, you should definitely come roll with us. Uh, the vibe is great. The students are awesome. The coaches are good. And we have a good time. So that's what I got for today. Um, like I said, leave me questions, leave me comments, and we'll be talking. Cheers.